So, in this short video, I'm trying to show you the difference between series and parallel circuits. And this is done using three light bulbs, which will first be connected in series and then in parallel for you to see the difference. And this is a very important concept in all electrical circuits. So watch carefully. So here you have this uh, one single D cell connected to this light bulb. And then from the second light bulb, you have it connected to the third. And okay, all right, actually you got these two. So actually these three are connected in series now because the current would flow through this, through the light bulb, through this cable, it would go to the second one and through the filament, it would go through this, on through this, and then here, and through this, through the switch, when the switch is pressed down, it will complete the circuit, okay? So that is how it's gonna work. So when I press on the switch, or switch it on, you can see that all the three light bulbs glow, okay? Now the question is, what would happen if one of the light bulbs in the center was removed? It's very simple to understand that because these light bulbs were connected in series and the circuit was flowing from one to the other to the third one, actually this acts as an open circuit now. There is no current that can flow through any of these light bulbs because the circuit is broken. So even when I press on the switch, look what happens. None of them light up because they were connected in series. Now in the second circuit, I have made a small modification. As you can see, I've connected the two D cells in series now because of this cable, which connects the positive of one to the negative of the other. And then I've taken this connection from one end of the switch here. So both of these cells are being used and therefore the voltage available would be double the voltage. So each one is 1.5 volts. So we're gonna get an effective 3.0 volt. As a result, look what happens to the light bulbs when the switch is pressed down, wow. They glow brighter because the cells are in series. Yet again, if you remove the light bulb in this case, in the middle, and press down on the switch, nothing happens. Would there be a difference if I had removed uh, any of the other light bulbs? What do you think? So, I'm trying to put back B, and instead of B, what if I had removed A or C? Would anything be different? Nothing. Why? Because these light bulbs are connected in series and the current is flowing through each one of them. So even if one is removed, any one removed, no current flows in the circuit. So none of the light bulbs will light up. Thank you. Well, I do want you to notice the difference in the connection now. Now, as you can see, I have this cable from the positive of the battery to the first light bulb. And then from that light bulb, I have another cable to the second one. And again, another one from the second to the third. I've done the same thing here. So from this end, you have one here, and then you have another one. Now this is called a parallel connection. All of these, oh, this just came off. All of these are now connected in parallel. I'm gonna try to put this back. Okay. And then the remaining circuit is to the switch and both of these batteries. And these light bulbs are able to take three volt. You can see three volt light bulbs. And when I press on the switch, uh, let's see what happens. Wow, the light bulbs glow much brighter. Do you know why? Because each light bulb is now getting three volt. That is the advantage of the parallel connection that each one of them has the same voltage. And as a result, <clears throat> Excuse me. If one of these light bulbs is removed, any one of them is removed, press down on the switch again, nothing happens to the other two. They still light up. You can remove both. You can remove the second one as well. 
And yes, the third one is going to light up. So in a paddle connection, the light bulbs are independently connected to the voltage source. This is the type of connection that we have in homes and in schools. So that even if one electrical appliance fails, all the others continue to work. I hope that makes sense. Thank you. So with that, I hope you understand that when electrical components are connected in series, the current flowing through them are the same. No matter what their resistance is, the currents will be the same. And if one of them goes faulty, none of them will work. On the other hand, in a parallel circuit, the voltages across each component are the same. The voltages are the same. And if any one of them go faulty, all the others will still work because they are individually connected to the power source. Thank you.